In this video you'll learn how to use radiance in connection with Ecotech for doing more detailed analysis of light levels within inside your building. Ecotech is really using an overcast sky and is only looking at geometry and a specific year, whereas we can use radiance for looking at different selling streams we might need to examine to avoid glare and discomfort within inside the space. I have now opened the Ecotech environment and I want to show how we can effectively use radiance to examine other sky conditions than the CE overcast sky used in Ecotech and go into different sun extremes to examine if we have discomfort or a glare within inside the building or room. We can export a room or a camera view from larger models but I just made this simple model here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do a lightning simulation in Ecotech very fast. Just go through this here okay so now that that's done I'm going to the analysis grid data and I'm choosing the, the scale that I want to save out this grid in because in here in grid management you'll see that you can only store five different data sets for any simulation so what I want to do is I want to save out this analysis grid data as a model analysis data and I want to save it out as GID as Ecotech here okay so now I can at any time just drag this grid data in here and it will reset my grid with that, that data. So let's go into visualize. Here I just made a camera view for the interior space and I made this table here to visualize and the work plane uh, with inside this room. So I can turn on my analysis grid. I go back to the 3D editor. What I want to do now is that I do have kind of a sense of the overall daylight factor and illuminance. Now we can go up to calculate, saying lightning analysis, say export to radiance for more detailed analysis. And what radiance really does is that it using the Ecotech model to do a daylight visualization. And in the same time, we'll bring back the data from Radiance to visualize it on our grid inside Ecotech and have some more valid results in the later process. And Radiance is also pretty cool when we have some more complex geometry to better understand the model. So let's just say OK and let's go back here in this guide just to show you how this is working. So we want to calculate over the analysis grid. We want to have now go into a uh, sun extreme during the summer to say, okay, what happens in the summer when we have a lot of sun? Don't we have some more risk to have some glare, stuff like that, have some dis discomfort with inside the space? So I'm choosing a specific period, 2 o'clock, the 21 of August. Going to next, say interior views, choosing the camera view that I've set up in the model. And then you can choose different levels of detailing here. I'm just choosing medium to start out. And then you can go to high when you're doing the final render. So here, try to make really for the output really a simple no commas no nothing just really a simple line here so you're able to get all the output data and pull it in back into Ecotech or Radiance when you need it again say next and next and just go through this here to say okay we want to do this in fine render you can open it in the control panel as well but the fine render is what we're looking for when we want to export the grid data back to Ecotech so let's click here generate point data on current 2D analysis grid great and important check material red files here the sky definition, indirect reflection, stuff like that. To set that up will mean that we get a more correct image. And let's look at the looks values because it's much more qualitative to look at and just say okay. The daylight simulation in Radiance has now ended and I'm able to actually pretty cool go about putting in numeric values on my desk and qualitative places and as you'll see here we have a kind of dangerous risk for glare on these places here on this specific time and what we can do now is we can overlay contour lines just another kind of visualization would help which helps us to determine where there would be risk of glare and, in, and discomfort with inside the zone. And we can also go to what's called human sensitivity, which helps us understand how this room will look like for a person. So when we close this down, we can now choose where to put the results on our grid. You remember there were five places. We could just gonna put it instead of daylight factor. We're gonna just pull it in with this name and say, okay, import. And we're gonna go here and now you'll see that the scale has updated. Let's set this to 250 to 2500 looks here and we have now have a more accurate simulation of the daylight levels and we can do this for different sun extremes and then send it out as model analysis data as a gfd file to do some different analog comparisons and analysis of the different design proposal that we build 